guy who's done shows, a guy who's stayed up late at night working really hard, to answer questions from people who've never done anything and, and they want to criticize, I, I, it's, it makes me laugh. These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. Butch Hartman, creator of your childhood, a self-proclaimed. First and foremost, let's get this out of the way. He's constantly telling people that he invented their childhood. I don't know about anyone else, but personally, for me, he's only about like a quarter right. I mean, I love Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents probably more than the next guy, okay? But... Butch, come on, <laughs> don't, don't, don't play yourself. Nobody was watching that tough puppy bullshit. And I still don't know if, if that Bunny Benson, whatever the fuck shit you made, even ever came out. I'm kind of hoping it didn't. So while yes, you did create a good part of my childhood, and probably the childhoods of a lot of other people, two shows out of the 20 we all used to watch as kids doesn't exactly make you a master of all things animation. Regardless, Butch seems hellbent on reminding anyone and everyone with a working pulse that he worked on those shows. And again, you know what? If I made Tough Puppy, I probably would too. I mean, isn't that the Vince Russo special? Hey guys, do you remember all those cool things I did? Uh, uh, disregard this. Just, just forget all about this. This right here? Never happened. Forget it. Did not happen. But check out this shit, right? It's like me saying, hey guys, I know that all my other videos are shitty, but y'all like the first few Change the Channel videos, right? Change the Channel was a thing, remember? Remember that? I, I did that. That was, that was part of that. Thanks. Y'all remember that, right? I'm your new YouTube daddy. That's just not how it works, Butch. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Also, I'd like to point out that much like my Change the Channel series, the Fairly Odd Parents went on well past its prime and got to the point where everyone just started hating it and hating you as an extension. Now I won't lie, I'm a big fan of his work. I really did love those shows as a kid. And Butch himself always seemed like a nice enough guy. A little inept in how the internet works sometimes, but nice nonetheless. His time on YouTube has been riddled with him milking every last drop he could out of his past successful creations. See what this famous YouTuber would look like on this show. Find out what Timmy's parents' real names are. Click here to listen to why we added a flying baby, another god kid, and a talking fairy dog to a series that was doing fine. His channel is very formulaic. You pretty much always know what you're gonna get. Butch will do a little uh, freehand drawing and you'll see that he's uh, not what he used to be. And then act like he's gonna let you in on some, uh, some big behind the scenes secrets. Which, by the way, he never does. And honestly, that in and of itself just gets tiring. But we're not here to shit on Butch Hartman. No, no, I, I, I mean we are. But we're also here to shit on Butch Hartman's latest creation, Oaxis. And while yes, that does sound like a long lost forgotten Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts character, doesn't it sound like someone from the organization? There's an X in there. It's actually the name of his upcoming network. Or website. You know what? I've heard people refer to it as so many different things. I don't, I don't know what the truth is at this point anymore. Maybe it's a hat. Maybe Butch Hartman wants to give us all hats. I don't, I don't fucking know anymore. But it is a Butch Hartman Kickstarter nonetheless. And while I'm not entirely sure what it is, what I do know is that it's going to be family friendly. And if I needed any more reassurance of that, I'd scroll down to where I could find it written 150 times over. Which makes sense, as subtlety was never really Butch's thing, now was it? I mean, we're talking about a guy who made the character Cosmo, and then thought, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just make him dumber. I, I, I mean, I really want to make sure the audience knows that he's stupid. As vague as it is, I'm pretty happy to see that for the mere price of $10,000, I can get my own name in the credits. You guys imagine that? My name on the end of the credits or something. That's the legacy I've always dreamed of. I mean, one day, my great-great-great-great-grandson is going to be sitting there watching an old cartoon in his elementary school when one of his douchebag kid friends looks over to him and goes, Hey, isn't that your last name? And then he'll turn to his screen and go, Oh, yeah. And for only $10,000, that dream can be a reality. Is... Is this what heaven feels like? Well, I guess Butch would be the guy to ask because he's a die-hard Christian. 
who is allegedly using his fan base to subtly preach Christian morals. Which doesn't necessarily sound bad. I mean, there's plenty of positive values that religion has. You know, uh, don't steal, don't kill, uh, don't covet thy neighbor's wife. I don't, it's very oddly specific, but... But then there's a couple of the less favorable ones. Like homophobia. Which is strange because I'd never think that someone named Butch could be homophobic. Like, don't those two just cancel each other out? He doesn't preach hatred or anything like that. But it's been implied he may include such values in his shows. Honestly, if the guy doesn't want to include a gay character because he's living in some 1950s fantasy where gays don't exist and threatening to punch your wife in the nose is seen as quirky, I say let him. I mean, the same way I said in Han Solo that we don't need white dudes in everything, we don't need a gay character in every piece of media. He's clearly not trying to appeal to that demographic, and I say, honestly, he doesn't have to. That's his choice. However, if he's using this to try and convert children into his thinking, or more so over uh, a religion, and he's doing that low-key, then I would say that's kind of grimy. I'd say that's kind of low. As a matter of fact, I'd say he's acting a lot less like the Lord he claims to love, and a lot more like the snake in his garden. And, let's be honest, the fact that this guy talks like he's a real-life supervillain does not help his cause. You thought you could stop me? Me, the notorious heart man? Well, it's far too late, paying audience, for I already have all your money. <laughs> Praise him. Praise him and all his miracles. Now, I also want to say, these are all what-ifs. Everything I'm saying right now is a what-if. Everything that's being reported on him is a what-if. Because the truth of the matter is, uh, him inserting Christian values into his shows doesn't necessarily mean that he's trying to praise, uh, doesn't mean necessarily that he's trying to convert anybody. It doesn't mean that he's trying to, uh, it doesn't mean that he's trying to preach hatred. It doesn't mean any of those things. We, we haven't seen the shows ourselves, so we don't know what the fuck Butch is talking about. There's plenty of good values in almost every religion, e even some of the ones that some people think are extremely barbaric. There's some good value to be had in it. So we don't know which values he's going to be putting in these shows. So I say, let's wait before we judge. However... Uh, Butch is a bit of a bitch. And hear me out here. Not only did he get funded what essentially boils down to a Christian network without telling anybody that religion had anything to do with it, he never said that this was a Christian network. And to those of you who have already invested, he's pretty much stuck a middle finger up and said, screw you, you're not getting your money back. People have asked Butch repeatedly for refunds, which not only does he not answer them, but he also just deletes their comments and messages entirely. So that now means if you're a trans dude who enjoyed Fairly Odd Parents and invested your last dollar to your childhood hero, fuck you. I'm not going to give your money back. Go with Christ. If you're a Jewish kid who grew up with Danny Phantom and pitched your money to help one of your role models, fuck you. It's my money now. Praise the Lord. Uh, Bill, wait, Bill, Bill Trump is live in Florida. He advertised or access to his team on this Christian network, that like MJ or something. Wait, this is live. To start, to start a brand new, wonderful way to influence the culture. We're here to impact culture. Someone says, what do I think of the Oaxis Family Guy meme? Oh, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to look at it, and I don't care. Whenever, so, whenever you put yourself out there to do anything, there's always someone that's going to like uh, try and bring you down because they've never done anything on their own. Then if you guys can't do it yourselves, you shouldn't criticize anybody else. You really shouldn't. Now, another cartoonist wants to have a problem with me or whatever, that's, that's a different story. But uh, at least somebody who's actually done something, I'll, I'll talk to. Like, like being a father, being a husband, being a, uh, um, or a boss, a guy who's done shows. The guy has such a fucking ego on him and a chip on his shoulder. It's beyond me how he's a real three-dimensional person and not one of his own outlandish two-dimensional cartoons. Everything is about him. How he's done it all. How he can do more. And that's bad enough as it is. 
But then we also get to hear his opinion of his own fan base. A guy who's done shows, a guy who's stayed up late at night working really hard to answer questions from people who've never done anything and, and they want to criticize, I, I, it's, it makes me laugh. Oh yeah, that's right. You're all pissants and peons to the almighty Butch. Or as he's known in some circles, Dr. Butch Studwell. Clearly, here's a man with a vision. And that vision is his prostate, because his head remains firmly planted up his own ass at all times. Now, there's a lot of things that people are using to slander Butch. And you know what? I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right at all. We're talking about a man who was so cherished that Seth MacFarlane named the reoccurring doctor after him in Family Guy. Alright, yeah, that guy, that's a tribute to Butch. Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? But do you know who else paid tribute to Butch? Butch Hartman. And he did so by making himself a doctor on his own show. I wanted to have some fun with my patty, handsome Dr. Rip Studwell. Dr. Rip Studwell. Yep, that guy? That's how Butch Hartman sees himself. Dr. Rip fucking Studwell. Not only is he the, the voice of the character, but, but why don't we take a look at what his current avatar is on YouTube. Oh yeah, so that's basically identical. That's how he sees himself. That, that, mm, he's a little bit off. He looks like a character that never came to fruition in Growing Pains. In all seriousness, outrage culture has taken a hold of this issue, as more and more people are digging deeper and deeper to try and find more incriminating shit to point their finger and call judgment. The one clip I keep seeing going around is the one where Butch makes a really stupid joke about a friend and employee of his who committed suicide. But Tara was not the original Timmy Turner. The original actress was Mary Kay Bergman, who sadly passed away. But She, she was, was such a sweet, sweet lady. Sweet lady. Mm -hmm. Doing great. And then she ended up passing away. And uh, I think Tara actually had something to do with that. And so <laughs> that's probably what, that was probably your fault. Uh -huh. No, I'm kidding. That was probably your fault. That was probably your fault. Uh -huh. no. It's short and it's stupid. And basically, he's just implying that the original Timmy voice actress killed herself because Tara Strong became Timmy Turner. Again, it's stupid. But it was also someone he knew personally and had some form of a relationship with. Everyone else here, myself included, are onlookers. We don't have any ties to this. I personally, as you may have recalled, tried in the past to off myself. And as you can imagine, it was about as successful as my YouTube career. My best friend's mother, however, was successful in ending her own life. And from time to time, we'll reference her in passing or make a joke about her own. Now, I know that sounds harsh, but hear me out. I remember one time we were driving to the movies and my buddy made a joke about how since he's taken me out, we're basically a gay couple. If anyone's seen my beard... That wouldn't be hard to believe. In turn, I responded, Did you tell your family? To which he replied, Well, I told my mom. And then she hung herself. Or another one would be the fact that me and him grew up as Batman fans. And nowadays, I like to joke that he has the one superpower that every superhero has. Dead parents. There's no malice in us saying these things, as we're both just ball busters and we both miss her dearly. I mean, I can't say she was like a second mother to me, but she was definitely like a really cool aunt. We're able to make these jokes because of our relationship to the deceased. We're trying to cheer up a little bit about a very dark and very grim situation. I think this kind of falls into the same context. I think it becomes clear if you think with your head and not your heart, that Butch is only making a joke that clearly doesn't land and clearly isn't all that funny. So it's kind of like a modern Fairly Odd Parents joke. But a joke nonetheless. Although what I will say is, that's not a very family-friendly approach of you, Butch. If you're so worried about kids tuning into negative shit, wouldn't you think twice about the material or message you're putting out there? Just asking. Although I gotta say, it's kind of interesting when you compare this to his own views about suicide. As a result, kids today, they have no purpose. There's depression. There's suicide. 
Solid thinking, Butch. You know what, you're right. There's a lot of suicide nowadays, and I'm sure the best way to fight it is an 11th season of Fairly Odd Parents. Butch, I've seen your work, and, and uh, quite frankly, anyone would want to commit suicide after sitting through those god-awful Drake Bell movies. I almost did twice. I have to be watched now. Thanks. How are you going to combat suicide? Do you think that you know what people want? Need I remind you that you were the one who made Danny Phantom Season 3? Constant exposure to corrupt social media and entertainment is a, prim a primary contributor to this crisis. I know kids who have committed suicide. When I grew up, kids had a hard time, they got through it. Yeah, back when I grew up, we got over it. Lifelong struggles and mental illness? Walk it off, you fucking pussy. If I can't see your problem, then it doesn't exist. Go with Christ, bro. Suicide was never even thought about. Where's that coming from? Again, I thought I answered this one already. How does a 23-year-old man still manage to stay in the fifth grade all these years? Influence is the key word. Yeah, suicide, depression, it's pretty bad out there. But anything can be changed. Yeah. Amen. 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 I love it. Never before in my life have I seen a man talk so much about nothing. I mean, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just goes on and on and on. But it's like he's on mute when it comes to actual information. This is a Christian network which will combat suicide. How? Amen. Amen. Yes, everyone. Amen. Hmm? So I am uniquely qualified to bring about this change. Listen to this guy. He just can't help but suck his own dick. He likes the taste so much. When referencing suicide, he has to end it with, I'm uniquely qualified to make this change. Praise Jesus, everyone. Butch Hartman's coming to unsuicide ya. I'm Butch Hartman. I've been in the entertainment industry for over 30 years. So excited to give you the opportunity to help me impact culture. After this video resurfaced, Butch has been turned into a bit of a meme. Which, knowing him, I'm sure he fucking loves it. He probably thinks he's one of the kids now. He's like that old dude you'd hang out with when you were underage so he could go buy you a beer every now and again. What? No one, no, no one else did that? Just, just me? This is why we need Oaxis, people! You see, it appears from all that Butch has said that he's a bit of a family guy. I also really like how he's using his past success in this promo. Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, Bunsen is a Beast, will not be featured on this network. Despite what this commercial for his product might imply, Butch owns the rights to all of zero of his past works. He wouldn't be able to put these programs on his family-friendly channel because they're not his to put on there. He actually tried to purchase Danny Phantom back from Nickelodeon for this specific reason, I believe, which he was unsuccessful. And the funniest thing to me is that Here's a man who made a video he felt needed to address the Danny Phantom controversy. That controversy being misheard lyrics in its theme song. See, we all thought that they were saying, Yo, Danny Fenton. But they were actually saying, Young Danny Fenton. Needed to be addressed. Needed, couldn't, couldn't live on without that. Needed to be done. Thank you, Butch. Thank God for you. So when are you going to address the Oaxis controversy where you ripped off all your fans and tricked them into paying for your I Love Jesus network? Looking forward to that video. That's going to be a good one. Make sure you put uh, Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, you know, in the thumbnail of the video. And also, you know, in the description as well, because, you know, don't want people forgetting about that, right? I mean, I'm, I'm doing... You know what? This is a good fucking idea. I might as well do that right now. Hold on. Perfect. There we go. Thumbnail. There it is. Boom. Overall, not only is all this controversy going to muddle up Butch's cause and the Oasis or Oaxis or whatever the fuck project, but it's also been putting a big black demeric on the legacy Butch has paved out for himself. <laughs> and that could be permanent. Butch, you once wrote the song Icky Vicky. But now everybody's singing to the tune of Butch the Scutch. When it comes to Butch Hartman, here's what I will say, and this is important. When Butch Hartman tells you he's the man who invented your childhood, 
remind him that he's also the one who destroyed it. Phantom Planet, Butch? Phantom Planet? Unforgivable. <laughs> So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole, and you too want to become a VTard, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Vitart, oh.